Hello everybody and welcome back to our discussion on function. For this video, I am going to talk about piecewise function. Okay, so, bakit tinawag na piecewise? Because this kind of function is presented in, in pieces. Ano? So, it contains two or more pieces of functions depending on the input. Uh, or the domain of the function. Okay, uh, technically, a piecewise function is a function in which the formula used depends upon the domain the input lies in. Okay, so we notate this idea using this one. So we have a curly brace up here. f of x is equal to uh, this may contain two or more formulas depending on the domain you know, of the input. So we can have formula 1, formula 2, formula 3, or uh, greater than that. And then uh, we have the if word here. And here lies the domain for this formula 1. Okay, Formula 1 for what domain of uh, the function? And then we have formula 2 for another domain of the function. And so on. Okay, So let us have an example. How do we come up with a piecewise function from a given problem. So we have here an example. I'm assume charges $5 per person for a guided tour with a group of 1 to 9 people or a fixed $50 fee for 10 or more people in the group. Set up a function relating the number of people N to the cost C. Okay, so basically, for this problem, there are basically two. Ano? Meron tayong dalawang uh, set of domains. Dito. For the first domain, that is when the number of people n is between 1 to 9. Okay, From 1 to 9, $5 per person. Pero kapag 10 or more people na yung yung tao 10 or more then we have another set of price for that okay so we have f of x i mean n n yung input natin c yung output natin okay so we have c of n okay so c of n is equal to uh, curly brace okay we have two functions here okay for the first piece that is when x is between 1 and 9 tama? so 5 pesos per person so that's 5n okay so the price is 5n 5 times n if there are 1 to 9 people so this is our domain okay n is greater than or equal to 1 or less than or equal to 9. So, when the number of people is between these two numbers, then ito yung formula na gagamitin natin to find for the cost. Okay? But when uh, the number of people in the group is 10 or more, then we have a fixed rate of 50. Tama? So, the total cost is 50. If the number of people n is greater than or equal to 10. Okay. So that's it for the piecewise function. Ito na ngayon yung piecewise function natin for this specific problem. Okay. Okay.